And I like the challenge. I don't think uh, photography should be too easy. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And again, I have a question for you. What is your approach to your favorite photography? Do you spray and pray in high speed continuous mode or are you trying to get one perfectly timed photo in single shot mode? I'm asking you this because um, some time ago I conducted a couple of photo walks, street photo photo walks. We had very small groups and it was easy to see what others were doing and um, how they approached this uh, topic, street photography. And there was this one guy and every time he saw something pho photo worthy, he would take a quick burst of at least 20 pictures. Judging by the sound of his camera, I did not count the, pic <laughs> the shots. But anyway, he was clearly spraying and praying and um, of course, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone can do whatever they want with their photography and uh, whatever gives them uh, the greatest pleasure. It's not about that. But I wanted to talk about this because his approach was almost exactly opposite to my approach. Because I'm every time I'm in single shot mode and I try to nail my picture, the decisive moment or whatever nice picture it is that I'm trying to nail uh, in single shot mode and um, with one or two uh, shots. And of course I also understand that different subjects require a different approach. If you are shooting flying birds you'll probably want to turn on the high speed continuous mode uh, because flying birds are difficult enough as they are so you'll probably want all the help that you can get from your camera. And also if I was shooting a job for a client and uh, the client wanted me to capture a certain specific moment I would probably turn on the high speed mode also in my camera if I thought that would help me to capture that specific moment. But I'm not doing paid assignments anymore and uh, these days my photography is uh, for pleasure or for my videos. I'm taking pictures for myself and the purpose of that is to enjoy photography. I'm not trying to be as effective as possible. It's not important for me uh, whether I capture one or ten pictures during one day. Um, if I manage to capture even one great picture or decent picture, it gives me great pleasure. And uh, it gives me pleasure if I manage to nail that one picture in one shot in single shot mode. Sometimes that uh, spray and pray approach might yield more keepers but it would also mean a lot more work in post because if I would come back with 400 pictures instead of 40 pictures it would take me a lot of time to go through all those 400 pictures and select all the possible keepers uh, from that uh, vast amount of pictures. I'd much rather have my 40 pictures and uh, it's very easy to select whatever keepers there might be from those 40 pictures than 400 pictures. And those possible keepers that I might be able to get by shooting quick bursts of uh, pictures in high speed continuous mode, they would not probably offer me the same kind of uh, satisfactory photographic experience compared to my approach where I try to nail a, a shot in single shot because I feel that my approach is more about my ability to see things and my ability to hit the shutter at the exactly right moment. 
but the spray and pray method is more like uh, luck or or chance. Whatever the camera happens to capture when I when I keep the shutter pressed uh, in high speed continuous mode. But now I'd like to remind you that we just released our 2023 workshop with my friend Peter Fusgaard. Please check out the link down below if you're interested. And this is for all of you who'd like to become better photographers and better storytellers. It's suitable for beginners, it's suitable for more experienced photographers. And we only accept six participants because we want to keep it personal. And the whole workshop is called uh, personal view workshop. Please do check out the link down below and join in. We'd like to see you here in Helsinki in August 2023. And now back to the topic of the day. Let's imagine a little bit. Let's imagine that we had a 360 camera that could capture 500 megapixel uh, 360 pictures or big enough uh, resolution so that we could uh, crop a normal, let's say 10, 15 megapixel frame from anywhere from the, from the 360 sphere that the camera can capture. And the camera would uh, take 50 frames per second all the time and it would upload those uh, frames into the cloud. And in the cloud there would be AI that would select uh, decisive moments or great frames um, from those uh, 360 frames that we upload continuously. And then the AI would send us the frames it selected as candidates and we could then make the final like uh, judgment or decision which ones to keep. And if I was walking out there with that kind of a camera on top of my head, I would probably get a lot of pictures and maybe some interesting decisive moments because the camera could even see what is happening behind me. But uh, would that kind of uh, street photo walk uh, be any kind of photographic uh, experience? I don't think so because then I would feel I'm just carrying a camera for that AI. So I think at least for me the most important part in photography is the enjoyment and uh, somehow the feel of excitement when I manage to capture something. It's not important for me to be as efficient as possible and, uh, and uh, to be able to capture as many great pictures as possible. I think um, the main thing is to be able to enjoy photography. Of course, I guess if I never manage to capture anything decent, it's uh, probably going to be quite depressing, but we all can learn and um, if we practice, we become better and uh, one day, sooner or later, we can capture that decisive moment in one single shot. And I like the challenge. I don't think uh, photography should be too easy, for me at least. I think when it becomes too easy, then it's not interesting anymore. And please do not misunderstand me. Of course, I appreciate modern cameras and all the features that they offer and uh, all that. But I want to be able to control my photography and I want to feel that uh, the perfect picture that I managed to take was mostly because of my skills, mostly because I was able to see what is going on and mostly because I was able to hit the shutter at the right moment. Of course, there's always some luck involved. Whenever you can't control everything, there is always some luck too. But if it's mostly because of my own abilities and skills, then it makes me feel happy. It does not make me feel happy if I get a great shot every time I hit the shutter or spray and pray all over the place. But this is just me and that's why I'm talking about this and I'd like to hear your opinion too, your approach. Please do leave a comment down below. 
If you found this video entertaining or amusing, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. There's a link down below for that if you don't live in Finland. And also please do check out the workshop also down below. Thank you so much and uh, I'll see you in the next video.